First question we all want to know, what happened when they knocked on the door and they said, we want your tree for Rockefeller Center? We, we were thrilled, thrilled, because we've talked about it. My, this is my son, Mitch. Talked about we, it for years. Yeah, we've talked about it for years, that this would make the perfect Rockefeller Center. So we were thrilled. 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 We weeks ago they said that we want your tree would you donate it to Rockefeller Center and here we are. Well, how old is the tree? About 75, 80 years old. Wow. Did you ever think it would be here? Yes, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we knew sooner or later someone would find it yep. because it's just the perfect tree. So you had no ad campaign pushing no, for the tree? No. No. Did you ever think of cutting it down? You know, the funny part is, I bring my granddaughters into the city every year for their Christmas present. We come in, we see a show, we shop, we do lunch. We always end up here and we always talk about how this would make the perfect Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. So last year, Christmas 2010, I came home, like all of us do, Googled it. How do you submit your tree for the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree? Couldn't find where to do that. And I thought, ah, I'll do it after Christmas. And after Christmas, you know, I, did, I never did it. And the knock came at our door in March. And so it's karma. It was supposed to happen. Did you in any way decorate it back when it was in your yard? No. Too big. <laughs> might have got TP to Halloween, but that's about it. Do you have a tall ladder at all? But not tall enough for that. <laughs> Are you doing anything special this Christmas other than just coming to New York City? Um, no, I mean, we've been here, we're here, this is the second time we've been here for the tree event and we've just been treated like royalty and taken care of very well and it's just been awesome. It's been an awesome experience. We have our, we have our family traditions, um, you know, that we always do. Of course, you know, my mother always cooks Christmas Eve dinner and we spend Christmas, some of Christmas Day together as a family. And we'll continue with that as well, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be uh, it's going to be hard uh, to top bringing my my granddaughters in next year compared to this year. I don't think I'm going to ever be able to top this experience. Are, are they here with you? They are here. Okay. They are here. They're over in our pen. They just uh, there was someone out there that they wanted to see perform, and so that, so that one precedent's over. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what is replacing the spot? Actually, another evergreen. <laughs> another evergreen, and, and we're just going with uh, whatever the Rockefeller Center garden, gardening staff, whatever their recommendation is, we're fine because they've been spectacular and awesome through the whole experience. So, no, and everyone asks us that, and we say, not really. I mean, you know, just to have the experience of having it here is just so wonderful. But the, the, the interesting part is we have another tree that's not quite that big. No, it's a donation. Okay. Donation. But they have treated us like royalty since we've been here. And, you know, it's just phenomenal. You have bragging rights for 100 years. That's at least. Maybe even longer. Thank you. Thank you.